In the second video of the series, I'm going to be speaking about ISIS currently and what the United States has been doing to contain them and what our other options are. Currently, ISIS rules over parts of northern Iraq and northern Syria and have also put in strict laws over the area that they rule that are so cruel and brutal that Al-Qaeda has revoked their support of the Islamic State. Their goals are to bring most of the Muslim inhabited regions of the world under their political control, beginning with Iraq, Syria, and other territories in the Levant region, which include Jordan, Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, Cyprus, and part of southern Turkey. They have also become one of the richest organizations in the world with $1 billion in cash and precious stones. And they also have a strong presence in social media, which has set them apart from other terrorist organizations and have allowed them to recruit members from all around the world. So far, the United States has been trying to contain ISIS. Through airstrikes, we are able to soften their 300,000 militants until Iraq and other regional powers neutralize the threat. The United States, along with Germany, has also empowered forces like the Kurds through providing them with arms. In addition, the step down of Nuri al-Maliki has been seen as a positive step and the hopes are that the new prime minister will have more credibility and make the Sunnis a larger part of the Iraqi government. ISIS has also caused the United States to make some awkward, unlikely allies as Russia has sent planes and helicopters to Iraq, putting them on the same side as the US despite what's going on in the Ukraine. Also, if we were to contain ISIS in Syria, it would be beneficial to the Assad regime, which was accused of using chemical weapons on their own people until the question becomes which is the greater evil. The main issue is that taking down ISIS takes time, lots of it, and the fear is that ISIS has set their safe haven and are drawing extremists from all around the world. For example, the man in the video of the beheading of American journalist James Foley has been officially recognized as a British rapper who was recruited by ISIS. The question now becomes what more options do we have to contain this brutal, violent organization? Boots on the ground has been suggested, but as we've seen, Americans aren't really for sending more troops to Iraq, especially after having sent so much money to establish an Iraqi army and having spent eight years there. Some strategists believe that ISIS's extremism and barbaric acts may cause them to lose broad Sunni acceptance and so they can only go so far, but can we really rely on just that? The options and solutions are not black and white. There is no set good or bad solution, and bringing an end to ISIS will take time. If you have any questions or believe the United States should intervene or leave it alone, or if you have any other solution, join our Twitter talk on Tuesday, September 9th at 7 p.m. The hashtag is ISIS Crisis.